What is up everybody? Welcome back to the Maths Guide. Today we're going to look at how to add and subtract fractions that have the same denominator. Let's see what that means. Let's go. Now, what we want to remember in this example is that when we are adding and subtracting our fractions, the denominator will end up being the same. But what does that mean? Well, let's have a look at our first example. One quarter, add two quarters. We should know by now that the number on the top of any fraction is called the numerator. And the number on the bottom is called our denominator. And the denominator is how much we've split our chocolate bar or whatever it is into. So one quarter would mean that I've cut my chocolate bar into fours or quarters. And the one, the numerator, is how many we're looking at. So in this case, one quarter would look like this. Okay, and then we're going to add it to my second fraction here, which is two quarters. So again, I'm going to get my new chocolate bar, cut it into fours. But this time, instead of one quarter, I have one, two quarters. So when I'm adding them, I can simply just count how many quarters I have. So when it says here that the denominator will stay the same, what it means is you're adding quarters. Your quarter is here and your quarters are here. So you're adding quarters. It's almost like saying you're adding elephants. If you add one elephant to two elephants, you're always going to have elephants as an answer. You're going to have three elephants. You're not going to start having cheetahs or dogs. So in this case, it's exactly the same. One quarter added to two quarters is going to equal something amount of quarters. So my denominator will always be in quarters because that is what we're adding up. We're adding quarters. And let's check how many I have. Well, in my first chocolate bar, I have one quarter. That's my fraction here, one quarter. And in my second one, I have two quarters, one, two. So together, I have one, two, three quarters. So my answer to one quarter, add two quarters, is three quarters. Whoa, I'm going to stop the video right now. If you're not a subscriber, what are you doing? There's loads of learning you can do on this channel. Press the subscribe button right now. It really helps me out. Thanks very much, guys. Let's get back to the learning. Let's see if that works with subtraction. So my question now is 5 sixths minus 2 sixths. So I can see now my chocolate bar is always cut into six. So I'm working with six. It's 5 sixths subtract 2 sixths. Just like five elephants subtract two elephants. So my answer has to be in sixths. Now let's draw out our chocolate bars. Let's cut it into six. There you go. I've got six equal parts. And in the first fraction, I have one, two, three, four, five sixths. But then I'm taking away two sixths. So I don't need my second chocolate bar here because I'm not adding. I'm actually taking away. So what I'm doing is I'm removing two of these six. So I could remove this one and I could remove this one. I could take them away. And how many does that leave me with? Well, I have one, two, three left over. So my answer to five sixths, subtract two sixths, is three sixths. Now, some bright sparks between you will start to notice that all we're doing really is keeping the denominator the same. And if I'm working in sixths, I end up with a sixth. And then I'm just using the operation on the numerator. Five subtract two equals three. Let's see if that works for the first one. We kept the denominator the same as a four, and then I just did one plus two equals three. So it's actually super simple. Let's look at a couple of harder ones, but without pictures this time. So if I have two eighths plus three eighths, I know I'm working with eighths. So I know my answer is going to be in eighths. And then all I need to do is add my numerators. Two plus three equals five. Two eighths plus three eighths equals five eighths. Let's have a look at the next one. We have six sevenths minus two sevenths. So I know my answer is going to be in sevenths. And then I can just do six 
minus 2 equals 4. 6 sevenths subtract 2 sevenths equals 4 sevenths. How easy is that? Remember, when adding and subtracting fractions, the denominator never changes. We can simply add or subtract the numerators. And if we want to, we can use pictures to check our work. Your turn, have a go at answering these two questions. See if you can press pause on the video now and get the right answer. Put your answers in the comment section. Press pause now, good luck. And there you have it. That is how to add and subtract fractions that have the same denominator. Super simple. Hopefully this was really easy for you. If it was, share it with a friend. If it wasn't easy, watch it again until it is easy. That's how we learn. But for now, guys, I'm going to see you in another video. Peace out.